This is my pleasure. Uh, of course, uh, what I heard is not uh, very pleasant uh, coming from your... I thought so. Yeah, uh, but uh, of course, uh, it's not me to, uh, to counter all uh, of your argument. You have a counterpart back in Ankara that would be very uh, happy to, uh, to discuss all these issues with you. And here in Norway, in Oslo, we are not in a position to solve uh, Turkish Greek issues. But since you came here and told about uh, these uh, to, to the audience, I would like to point out a couple of uh, uh, pertinent uh, issues with, with what you have said, Excellency, respectfully. You are uh, uh, claiming or you are actually uh, uh, saying that Turkey is doing this and that, but you are uh, missing one point, that all of these actions are in response to something you have been doing. So these are consequences. Uh, the Turkish-Libyan uh, agreement was also a consequence of something that you, all, uh, you also know very well. And the, uh, the Casus Belli declaration by the Turkish Grand National Assembly was also a consequence that uh, Greece was uh, telling that uh, they will go ahead unilaterally declaring uh, the uh, continental uh, waters uh, uh, as uh, 12 miles. And this would practically block uh, Turkish uh, waters, uh, uh, Turkish uh, uh, ability to reach international waters. And uh, Turkey will be locked into, the, into its own uh, territorial waters. That, that is what you are imposing or you are trying to tell Turkey. The UNCLOS, uh, during the uh, negotiations of UNCLOS, Turkey was a persistent objector to the notion of, uh, of the islands having uh, exactly the same effect on the uh, delimitation. Because in the agent case, it is looking forward to solve all of these issues through dialogue. Agency has two sides. There is a, a land mass on the other side that you are forgetting. That is called Asia Minor. You may remember it from, from the history. And it is the land mass of the Asian continent that you would like to totally ignore. My island, and it has the same effect, uh, a cutoff effect in the delimitation as the land mass of uh, Turkey. So this is, of course, impossible for us to, to accept. And that is the starting point. You uh, were telling that you are ready to talk to Turkey on the basis of UNCLOS. And Turkey didn't uh, join UNCLOS because we cannot accept uh, the, uh, the situation in the Asian as the solution. So we are not able to have this dialogue on the basis of UNCLOS only. As Professor was saying, international law can be one of the basis of uh, solutions, and the others are uh, fairness, equality, and uh, mutual rights. If you are ready to accept or to take into account Turkish issues, Turkish rights, and Turkish needs in this matter, we can always talk and uh, sit, sit and talk and solve these problems. That is what. And you also failed to mention about the, the uh, demilitarized status of the, of some of the islands that was uh, mentioned. Uh, that is also one of the issues that we would like to discuss when it is uh, about uh, the international law and application of it. I, I think according to the international law, uh, agreements are part of international law, direct agreements, and Lausanne Treaty and the 1947 Paris Treaty asked you not to militarize some of these islands, which is not uh, acceptable. So, okay. there you. are many other